Hey guys, welcome to DevOps School. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn about GitLab. But before we begin, let me inform you a few things about us. DevOps School is one of the leading platform which offers DevOps, cloud and containers technology training and certification programs for freshers and established professionals who wish to update and consolidate their skills in the dynamic IT scenario. We ensure that the training solutions are delivered by highly experienced domain experts with practical working experience in various verticals. Check out the dates and enroll with us for our upcoming batches. For more info, link and contact details are mentioned in the description below. Yeah. So guys, look at my screen, all of you. So here, what I did, I have a project. I mean, I had a group. Explore the group. Not sure what is happening. Okay. So yeah so here we have a ms office ms office which is a group and here i created one project i think project was not created let me create one more time ms pro ms word so here ms word and public and create project so this is the project I created. Now this project we have to work with it. So each feature at the project level first we finish. After that we go to the group level and after that org level then system level authentication authorizations user management and permission management and stuff like that. And after that once you get comfortable with the, all these features of GitLab then we get into the HA backup restoration process. Uh, database man uh, database change redis clustering and all stuff like that okay so let's get started so first thing what i am going to do so guys now let me ask you there is a git local repo and between the git remote repo which is a remote repo which is a gitlab how do we authenticate tell me which are the method available for that how do we authenticate ssh and HTTPS, correct? So now, first thing, we will set up the SSH. Okay, so how do you set up SSH? Uh, now, now, guys, one more thing. If some of the steps, if you are not comfortable, do let me know. I will be slow. But if you are comfortable, I will completely go with the flow. Okay, so for SSH, what I will do, please look at my screen. I will go to my command line, user home, and go to that my user home. And here we have a dot SSH and this public file is there. Now, if this public file is not there, you can generate it also the utility, which is, which is called SSH hyphen keygen. All of you know that. Yeah. So here I'm going to this keys, open up this. This is the key. and go here go to the edit profile i'll open with a new new tab and here you see ssh key okay each option will go through that but not right now because there should be some uses you use use uses scenario ssh key so now here i paste it give that key whichever the title you want to get it expired and key so now I added SS keys. Okay. So guys, you can connect with repo two ways, password or SSH key. Clear? Okay. So now let me go back to this. So this repository here, add SSH key, which I did it already. Don't show. Okay. Work is done. Now guys, this repository, you have no files. Now, if you read this, you know that this commands already I talked about it. Are you comfortable? If you're not comfortable, then here you have it all this thing. Okay. So can we start working with it? So for that local first local repository, I'll go. Now, which one you are using for the Git in the local? Uh -huh. Command line, Git bash. Which one? Command line. So I'll show you through command line only, whichever you guys are using. 
this is the command line correct and where I'll go I'll go to the C drive hmm. I'll go to C drive now guys here I'll create one directory mkdir qual and inside that I'll go to the qual directory okay now if you want to see this directory you can see that it's empty agree with me okay here what I will do I'll create one more directory uh, I don't have to create a directory actually uh, yeah now I have to go and clone it so here how do you clone it so SSH key I have added okay so I can use that so where is the uh, URL which here okay let me you know old version you had somewhere here I mean two three old version so little UI change here you have it okay so here you want clone SSH clone HTTPS okay so I'm using SSH SSH is faster and better so git clone and URL comfortable enter yes it's the first time it will ask you done so this is the empty repository which I cloned it done now if you show me the if, if I show you the explorer here it is now what you're going to do so you're going to go, go inside this directory and add some file file one dot java whatever it is and here let it be and then git add same command I have given you all this command here also if you forgotten then you can refer it okay so I'm running all git config user dot name Rajesh Kumar this is the developer will be doing git con config email uh, devops at the rate of Rajesh Kumar dot XYZ git conf uh, git config done right uh, I forgot what is the next command commit yeah commit uh, my mistake I'm doing little hurry uh, first commit not required actually and finally guys git push origin master I'm I'm just pushing it remember the key is there SSH is there and push only one commit I did and now see a uh, few things before refreshing the page along with that you can access our other tutorials such as docker ansible Jenkins terraform Splunk AWS Azure and various other DevOps related premium tutorials with our channel membership if you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. To get our channel membership, click on to the join button, select the 3D99 plan and grow your skills immensely. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone, if you would like to access the remaining videos of this playlist or 50 plus more tools which are coming under DevOps, DevSecOps, SRE, DataOps, GitOps, ETC. Kindly become our channel members by clicking on the joining button. You would have access to 100s of playlist and 1000s of videos lifetime access with this membership. Enjoy!